you guys know I used to do makeup videos, right? And because of that, I get asked on literally a daily basis how to get rid of skin texture. I have been meaning to make this video here on YouTube to denounce all that for the longest time, and here I am. Because guys, you have been lied to. I'm just gonna use myself as an example quickly to show you what I'm talking about before we get into the video. From where I'm sitting right now in my little bedroom here. I have two soft boxes and a ring light in front of me and I'm sitting about a meter away from the camera and from where I'm sitting right now my skin probably looks really smooth. In fact another comment I get all the time is people asking me why I'm using a filter on YouTube and not disclosing it and I'm always like guys do you think I would honestly sit here and make these videos whilst sneakily using a filter on YouTube? No, I wouldn't. Let me show you what I mean. So from back here, my skin probably looks really smooth, but if I get up close to the camera, look at how it changes. Okay, so this is my makeup and my skin up close to the camera, directly in front of my ring light. In fact, if I turn my ring light off. Now this is my ring light off. And again, as you can see, that makes a pretty big difference to how my skin looks. And if I go out into daylight, and it's not a particularly bright day here, I mean, I do live in Ireland, you'll see that my skin texture is so much more obvious than what it looks when I'm sitting in front of my camera. This is what my skin actually looks like. As you can see, I've got enlarged pores, especially around my cheeks and my nose. I've got fine lines. I've got dry patches on my skin. I've got very obvious skin texture and it's okay. This is what skin looks like most of the time. Every single person on this planet has skin texture. We have texture on our skin, on our arms, on our elbows, on our feet, on our hands, on our buns, and that's okay, that's allowed. But we're not allowed to have texture on our faces. No, no, that should look like glass. Like what the heck is glass skin? Like stop it. When are we as a society gonna stop making human beings feel bad for looking like human beings? So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys that even these men and women that we believe to be the epitome of beauty, they actually have probably just as much, if not more, skin texture and enlarged pores and peach fuzz and fine lines as you do. Hi, hold up. First, a message from our sponsor. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that gives you the opportunity to shop from over six hundred brands. This is not the kind of subscription that locks you down and puts you in subscription jail. This is a flexible service so you can skip or cancel anytime you like. Scentbird lets you choose a new designer fragrance for men, women, unisex every single month for just $16. You choose the brand and the fragrance that you want every single month so you don't get any nasty surprises or perfumes that you don't want and won't wear. With each fragrance you get a 30 day supply so you can try out the fragrance before you commit to a full bottle because as you guys will know Fragrances, like perfumes, they are bloody expensive. Like honestly, I don't even know how they justify the price sometimes. I remember a counter I used to work on in the beauty section at the department store. One bottle like this big would be like $500. That was a month's rent for me. So with Scentbird, you get the perfect amount of high-end fragrance for just $15. If you love fragrance and you want to try something new, you can discover new fragrances by taking a simple quiz on the Scentbird website. And based on your preferences, previous purchases, and quiz answers, they'll help you to find your perfect fragrance. So as you guys might know, I'm a bit of a hippie, so I don't wear perfumes every day. I wear essential oils every day because they have health benefits too. But for me, my fragrances and my perfumes, I save them for very, very special occasions that's when I'll pull out my perfume and I spray it on my clothes that's just me so I would never get through a huge $500 bottle of perfume so these little vials are perfect for me for when I do choose to use them so if you love fragrance and you feel like Scentbird could be up your alley you can use my coupon code which will get you 55% off which is huge Scentbird is available in the US and Canada and if you're interested in the service I will put the link to browse in the description box down below all right let's start off with the beautiful Kendall Jenner so when I think of Kendall Jenner, I picture like her Instagram posts that are very curated, very beautiful, very artistic, very like model-esque. Like, I mean, she is literally a supermodel. She's got the huge eyes, the pouty lips, the flawless skin. But does she really? No, my friends, she does not. So these pictures are of Kendall Jenner in circumstances where she hasn't been in control of the picture or the camera or the editing. And as you guys can see, she has quite obvious skin texture. And I don't say that 
as like a bad thing. As you guys have seen, I've got skin texture and I've learned that there's nothing wrong with it. Like this is just what human beings look like. As you can see in these pictures, she has some acne scarring. Like Kendall has suffered with quite severe acne in the past. That kind of acne can leave pitted scars. In these pictures, you can see that she's got a few spots around her cheeks and her chin, which can sometimes indicate a hormonal imbalance. Sometimes not, but worth looking into. Having skin texture doesn't hold Kendall Jenner back. Like she is literally a supermodel. In fact, Kendall Jenner with her skin texture and her acne was apparently the highest paid model in the whole world in 2021. What does that show you guys? It shows you that even if you have skin texture, even if you have acne, it doesn't need to hold you back. It doesn't detract from your beauty and it doesn't detract from you as a person. Like none of these booking agents looked at Kendall and were like, ew, look at your skin. We're not going to book you. No, quite the opposite. She was literally the highest paid supermodel in 2021. Okay, moving on to Kendall's sister, Kim Kardashian. But when I think of Kim Kardashian, I think of, again, flawless skin, perfectly applied makeup, super glam. And if you have a look on her Instagram, that's exactly what you will see. No fine lines, no wrinkles, no pores, no skin texture, which is actually quite the contrast from Kim in real life, because in real life, that is not what she looks like. When you flick through these pictures of Kim Kardashian in real life, you will see that her skin doesn't look anything like the skin that she portrays on her social media. In real life, she has pores, some tiny, some slightly enlarged. She has oily patches. She has generalized texture. She has fine lines. She has dark circles. One really important point to make here is that Kim Kardashian is like extremely obsessed with her own self image. Like, like Kim would spend an absolute fortune on the highest end skincare and facials. Like remember when she even had that vampire facial where it literally like takes your own blood and then re-injects it into your skin. That was wild. And yet, despite all that, her skin still is not smooth. It still doesn't look like glass. It still isn't flawless. And it's not because I'm bashing Kim or talking down on Kim. It's because that kind of skin, that's just not possible for humans. That That's, that's what dolls look like, not humans. If it was possible to completely get rid of your skin texture and your pores, don't you think that someone like Kim Kardashian would have achieved that? With all her money and time and contacts, she would be the ultimate flawless, poreless person. But she's not because it cannot be done. Then there's this picture of Kim K that went viral because you can see that she has pores. <laughs> that almost makes me lose faith in humanity because it's like, how have we gotten so far away from knowing what humans actually look like that we genuinely believe that Kim Kardashian doesn't have pores? or skin texture. How is it that people are so shocked that this could possibly be what Kim looks like in real life? That it goes viral. One thing that I have to say before I move on to the next influencer is that I am slightly annoyed when I see images like this, marketing images for Kim's KKW beauty brand and skims and things like that. These marketing images which are aimed at selling her products have been so edited, so airbrushed, but in a really sneaky way. So these influencers and celebrities, they have access to the top editor. So some people's job is literally to Photoshop and edit pictures, right? That makes sense. But they are so good at their job. They know how to airbrush someone's skin, but make it look like it hasn't been done. So they will still leave in, you know, little things that are acceptable, like a cute freckle or a tiny mole, or they will remove all the unflattering skin texture and then re-add in what looks to be skin texture. So that to the naked eye, to like a normal person, they won't realize that that picture has been edited to oblivion and that that person's face has been totally airbrushed because it still kind of looks real. Like if you zoom in, that kind of looks like skin texture, doesn't it? But it's not because this is what this model's skin texture actually looks like in real life. So please guys, if you see a marketing image like this, don't believe that that is what skin is meant to look like. That is not what your skin is meant to look like. That is highly, highly edited. I'm not just saying this to be up on my high horse. When I released my eyeshadow palette, which I'll link down below if you guys don't have yours already, that's what I'm wearing on my eyes and for my contouring. One rule I had was that for the marketing images, I didn't want my skin airbrushed. And if you guys have a look at any of the pictures from when we launched this palette and you zoom into my skin, like you can see that my skin hasn't been airbrushed. You can see my large pores, you can see my fine lines. And I just was very specific about that because I didn't want any of my followers 
looking at me and my skin and wishing that their skin looked like mine because that wouldn't be what my skin looks like, if you know what I mean. My skin isn't perfect. I'm not perfect. I fart. Sometimes I have BO. It's okay. Okay, if you guys are still with me, we're gonna move on to Megan Fox. She, again, is like the epitome of like sexiness. Everyone thinks she's so beautiful. Like all the roles that she has been cast in in movies has been as the hot girl because she's hot. And when you look at Megan's Instagram, you see all these kinds of pictures where she looks totally flawless, absolutely beautiful, and that's fine, she is absolutely beautiful, but she's not flawless. When you look at these pictures that are close up and in real life, where she is not in control of the picture and the editing, you will see that she too has skin texture. As you can see in these pictures, Megan does have a few fine lines. I've got those same fine lines on either side of my mouth and I actually think they're quite cute because they show that you smile a lot. She has a little bit of peach fuzz because yes, women grow moustaches too. I don't know if Megan maybe had acne back in her youth, um, perhaps she did because it does look like she has a few little pitted acne scars, which again is totally fine. They're cute. And just like Kim Kardashian, Megan Fox, because she is considered like the epitome of beauty, she would spend a lot of time and a lot of money kind of upholding that standard of beauty that she is so well known for and basically how she makes her money. That just reiterates my point that if this totally flawless, skin textureless appearance was possible and achievable, wouldn't Megan Fox have flawless glass skin? Yes, she would, but she doesn't. So there you go. Now look at this picture here, guys. This is Megan Fox at the Met Gala from last year. And you've got to remember here that in this picture, her makeup has not only been expertly applied by a professional makeup artist, but she would have had the highest end skincare put on before that. And these pictures are taken in super flattering red carpet lighting. And yet, as you can still see, she has visible skin texture. This is what Megan, or Megan, sorry, I always call her Megan. This is what Megan looks like in this unedited picture. Yet, if you compare that to the edited picture that she herself posted to her Instagram, you can see that I guess Megan is also insecure about her skin texture because if she wasn't, she wouldn't have felt the need to airbrush her skin. And so this is what I always say. I'm like, we as like regular folk, we feel insecure about these flaws that we're told we have. And we get angry at these influential people for kind of propagating these unrealistic beauty standards, but they too are victims of these unrealistic beauty standards and they too are insecure like it's not just us and that's why I feel like we all need to make the change like we need to hold these influential people to the standard that we want to see realness so that they feel like they can be real and then that'll hopefully trickle down to regular folk as well who will feel like it's okay to not be a size zero it's okay to not look like an influencer it's okay to have skin texture I can tell this video is already getting really long but there's a few more I wanted to show you just to hammer home the point the skin texture is sexy. Look at Wolfie Cindy. She is an influencer with 6.8 million followers on Instagram. That is huge. On Instagram, she posts as usual, totally flawless, very glass-like, very smooth images and selfies where her skin looks totally flawless. And that's okay. Like you are allowed to post whatever images of yourself you want to post on your own Instagram. And no one can tell you that you can't because you can. However, don't for one second believe that all these flawless images that people post is what they actually look like in real life because like I said, humans gonna human. So this is what Cindy's skin looks like in real life. So this is what Cindy, I think that's her first name in real life. This is what her skin actually looks like in real life. As you can see, she has pores, she has some skin texture, sometimes she has dark circles, and she is still absolutely stunning. Like she is a professional model. She makes her money and her living because she is beautiful. <laughs> skin texture is never gonna go away. It's been here since the dawn of time. We actually need it. Like if you have skin, you're gonna have texture. Done. I love your guts, guys, and I will see you in my next video.